Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. The Australian dollar has continued its decline, with the pair now hitting its lowest level in five months after posting an intraday low of 68.48. Today, the RBA will release its monetary policy meeting minutes of its latest meeting, which could shed some light on whether the policymakers are supporting a July rate cut. Due to the disappointing labour force report from last week, has shifted the forecast to a cut from August to July. The reason behind that is the Australia Bureau of Statistics, the ABS, released its labour force report for May, which registered a substantial 42,300 increase in total employment, but a flat headline unemployment rate after missing its 5.1% and remained at 5.2%. But the job numbers weren't as good as the market may have thought. The reason behind that is part-time job roles was 39,800 and only full-time was 2,400. So looking at the assessment today, the market is still destined to the challenge of 68 cents. Now beneath there would give scope down towards 66. So do keep an eye on this level. Any advances sees intraday resistance at 68.85. Moving on to the euro, the market slipped a little bit more, but recovered just in front of that level of 112. I do expect to see further risk to the downside. Although all eyes turn to the US Fed rate decision, with their policy meeting starts today for 48 hours and the release of the statement and also the decision from the, the FRMC is on for Thursday, Sydney time at 4am. Although the bearish outside range day has supported this decline along with the cut of 112.70, do assess and lower your stop losses and take profits accordingly to your risk management in case we do get an unexpected turnaround because the dovish statement is expected from the Fed and we could see a little bit of a weaker US dollar in terms, put a little bit of a spice into the euro, but not likely to get much beyond 113. Dollar yen for the 12th consecutive day has held within a familiar levels between 107.85 to 108.70 and at present still unable to attract any direction. Therefore, I do say the longer we fail towards the top side, we could trickle back towards the lower side of the range, which is at 107.85. Pound pressured lower to the target I'm calling at 125.20. The market breaking beneath there would expose the region of 124 down to 123, but one step at a time because we are oversold. Let's see if we can take out the level of 120, 125.20 first for the resistance seen at 125.85. Looking at the gold outlook, the risk is still to the downside since the rejection of that 15 month high of 1,358. It is assessed a break could see a move to 1,324. Be assessed from there. And wrapping up with oil, the market still pressuring the downside, but I'm bullish while 50 holds. However, a break beneath there would give scope towards the region of. 45 to 46 as a potential target. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the new day, Paul, and hope you enjoy the great starts in the new day.